Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So recently I've been thinking about doing another scoliosis slash back brace video and I thought of I'd say a pretty good idea. So I asked you guys on Instagram to leave me all of your questions about scoliosis and my back brace and all that stuff. So I did this actually once before and that was pretty successful. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna try it again. So I did it again and you guys yet again sent in all of your questions, which I'm so thankful for guys. Thank you all so much for participating and I can't wait to answer all of your questions. So today is basically going to be scoliosis Q&A, but if you guys are new here to my channel, it would be very appreciated if you would go down below and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out when I upload next here on my channel. But yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into this video and start answering your guys' questions. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm back. Also, this is really bugging me, I don't know why. This plant, like, in my vase back here, this one leaf is just like popping out and just like trying to get in the angle. So, totally disregard that. But I have all of the questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram story all written down here now. Um, once again, you guys like asked a lot, so I just wanna say thank you for that because like I didn't have to put any effort into this video, guys. Yes, okay. Okay, so first question that I see here is, what are some symptoms of scoliosis? Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure because I'm no doctor, so to be honest, I don't really know. But if I would just have to say, from my point of view, I would say back pain, that might be one. Or if you bend over a certain way, your back tilts. If you want to know exact symptoms of scoliosis, I say ask Google. Next one, do I have back pain? Personally, no. Not in general, no. Um, but like if I do a lot of weird movements, I would say yeah, I would get back pain. But for me personally, it's I don't feel any back pain like when I'm wearing my brace or if I'm just like doing normal stuff. But the only time I do know I have back pain is whenever I bend over like to reach down just for a long period of time, just like bent over. This happens to me a lot whenever I'm like vacuuming, like with a little handheld vacuum. I bend over a lot and vacuum like on the floor and stuff. So that's like a good at least 40 seconds of me just bent down. I feel like you would always get that no matter if you have scoliosis or not because just bending over in general, I don't think is the most comfortable thing. Um, but I do feel more pain doing that than just anything in general, but yeah. Would you show us how big and long your brace is? Okay, so my current one, I have both of them in front of me right now. I have my old one right here, and then I have my current one. I'll just show you my current one. So this is my current back brace. Um, this is the back right here, and then over here is the front. So actually, you know what guys? I actually don't know how big and long this really is. So, you know what that means? I'm gonna go get a tape measure and measure how long this is, just so you guys have an actual um, number of how big and wide it is. So, I'll be right back. Tape measure. We're gonna measure from the tallest possible point to the lowest possible point, so it's just like more easy. Is that a good, oh wow. I'd say that's a good 16 and a half inches tall or long but here is like how big it is just a full all-around look it's like from my head to my shoulder a little below my shoulder head to shoulder kind of width i don't know you ready guys yeah okay um next one how well are you doing with your brace okay this is a sweet question to ask thank you um but i'm actually doing really good with it i am super close to ending my official back brace wearing which is super excited my doctor would have had me get out of it sooner but i still have just a couple months left of growing even though i'm not going to be as tall i get out of my brace sooner so that's a plus so i'm doing great with it and also my hours of wearing it have lessened he has given me permission to only wear it at a maximum of 12 hours now so that's exciting he said only when you sleep so if i sleep for eight hours he said that's totally fine 
Guys, I used to be wearing it for like 20 hours a day. That's a big jump. So I'm very excited. What were your biggest challenges during this scoliosis journey? Okay. Uh, I feel like I haven't had any main like challenges that have really broken me down during this journey. Um, I feel like I've tried to keep it positive and keep it going and just keep the ball rolling so I could see results and correction. Um, but there definitely has been challenges. Like not all good things have no challenges. Like even though it looks all good, there's still challenges behind the journey. I'd say one of the main ones that I can currently think of right now is like, especially like in the past year, year and a half, two years, um, whenever I was like wearing it 18 to 20 hours a day, that was really difficult. Whenever I went to friends' houses and like family's houses and had sleepovers and just did normal life stuff, I do remember it was just like always, not weird, but it was just always different having to have my brace along and then having to wear it. I didn't wear it like overly when I was at friends' house and camps and stuff, but I still had to wear it. And I mean, I still had to travel with it. It was always one more thing. Um, so that was a challenge, just like having to remember my brace, having to remember to do all that, having to write down all my hours, just having to keep up with that, you know? So, not many challenges, but um, just some little things, you know? Okay, how do you remain positive? I love this one. Um, I know a lot of people that like have scoliosis and have to deal with bracing. It's not always easy to stay positive and motivated to just keep going. I know it is really tough. That is if you look on the negative side of all of it because there is a lot of negatives and it's just like, why do I gotta do this? Why do I have to keep pushing on? Like, I don't wanna do this, it's it's ruining my life. And I feel like I have an advantage definitely being homeschooled because I can't imagine going to public school or any school and just like having to wear this thing. Um, but for those of you who do, I'm sure it is super hard and I feel for you every day because like that's, yeah, anyways, how do I remain positive? First of all, we look on the positive side. Like, you don't want to be looking at the negative side. Like, you know you have to wear this thing for three more years of your life. Why would you want to look on the negative side? Like, is that going to make it any better? No. Now, I understand thinking on the positive side is not so easy. But guys, if you just keep having that happy mindset, keeping the positive mindset and just the faith and keeping going, it won't be easy at first, but guys, Good things take time and you will see good results in the end and you will honestly thank yourself because I will assure you even the struggles in trying to be positive are a lot better struggles than having to deal with all the negativity and pushing through. So just like from the start tell yourself I'm going to be positive through it all and keep going. Don't break that promise to yourself and just keep being positive. Also being thankful is a big thing. Like. Yes, I have scoliosis. Yes, I have a problem with my back, but like I'm so much better than some other kids that have had to deal with worse things. Like scoliosis is not the worst thing to deal with. And I feel like that's really easy to overlook when you're in the moment dealing with it. But like there's so many worse things out there, guys, than scoliosis. And I just feel like it's just a little bump in the road and you just got to overcome it, guys. You got to just have faith that God will get you through and that he is the great healer. You really got to put your faith in him that he will guide you because that has really helped me like we can't do everything guys like we're just people here on earth and I feel like we gotta trust him because like he's the one on our side here I am playing with the uh what do you call it tape measure oops um yeah but like really have faith guys um because faith can move mountains and I truly believe that because I believe I wouldn't have seen results if it wasn't for him guys Really having your faith in him. We can't do everything guys. So we do have to put our faith in him sometimes to help us overcome mountains and obstacles. And that is what he's there for. And he wants to help you. So I really, really hope you guys understand that. Just pray guys. Like that's also a thing. Pray for like faith and strength and knowledge to just keep getting through because that is a main thing that will help you. That's what helped me. I, I'm sure of it guys. I've seen over half my back is already corrected and I'm not even done yet. Okay, moving on. That was a super long one. I apologize for that, but hopefully you guys understood it. Okay, next one. How many back braces have you owned? If it's multiple, which one was your favorite? This is a cool one. So I have owned two back braces, old one, new one, current one also. 
Um, um, this one's really dirty. This one's clean. I'd say this one's my favorite, my newer one, because it's smaller too. So I would say it's my favorite because this one is longer in the front, which is more uncomfortable. And this one's shorter and it's just, I don't know, cleaner. And it's my current one. So I'd say this one's my favorite. Does your scoliosis cause back pain? Um, I feel like we mentioned this one a little earlier, but personally, not really. Only like when I bend over for a long period of time, like I said, but I can't really say it does. Um, now my back will crack every now and then. I'm guessing that's because of my scoliosis, but I'm not really, I don't really think I have much back pain. If, if I did, I feel like it'd be noticeably, so no. Can scoliosis curves get better on their own? P.S. I love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. I'm no doctor once again, um, but from my knowledge, no, I do not think scoliosis curves can get better on your own. If you do have a curve and you're worried about it getting worse, don't be like, oh, it's fine. I'll just wait a couple months. It'll be better, right? No, guys, go to the doctor. I encourage this so much. I know that's like scary at first. You're like, oh, I have to go? Even if it's a small one? Yeah, if you're not done growing yet, that can turn into real big problems. So I say go to the doctor now, um, see your degree, because if you have like two years left of growing, that can really grow the wrong way and you don't wanna take the risk of getting surgery, guys. So the biggest thing is no, scoliosis curves do not get better. If anything, they actually get worse. Maybe they will stay the same, but I highly doubt it. Okay. When were you diagnosed with scoliosis? I got diagnosed with scoliosis back in November of 2019. Yeah, so that's when we all started. Do you personally know anyone or any of your friends who have scoliosis? Okay, so actually yes, but it's not like anything major. It's just like a little curve, which I mean, scoliosis is pretty common, but just not like big curves like we're used to. So yeah. Would you ever meet someone with scoliosis in person for the first time? Sure, I'd love to, I'd love to give them advice, you know? What happens if you wear pants over your underneath brace? So I have actually done this a lot in the past year to two years. I don't do it anymore since I only sleep with my brace, but back when I did, I did wear my pants over top of my brace. But I don't think anything like major happens, you just do it. Do you get any rashes or bruises while wearing your brace? Personally, no, and I feel like that's because I do wear an undershirt under my brace, which they do recommend. But sometimes, like back when I was wearing it, like 20 hours a day, as tight as it could possibly go, I would get some like red marks, but they didn't hurt or anything. They were just like, because the brace is pushing on your skin so much. So it wasn't really rashes or bruises or pain or anything. It was just like tiny marks and they went away after a couple minutes, so yeah. Does it affect your everyday life? So scoliosis or the brace? I guess they mean the same thing, basically. Um, so yeah it definitely does i'm not gonna say it doesn't because that is a lie and that is false because it does um not really in a negative way for me i mean yeah a little but like since i'm homeschooled like i said it really doesn't change much um i just wear my brace when i'm doing school and stuff but like whenever i go to friends houses i just gotta think a little farther ahead like oh i'm gonna put my brace on at this time whenever we go to bed i gotta remember to bring my brace i gotta you know you just gotta think a little more um but yeah, it does affect your everyday life, like the way you do things. You just gotta think differently. That's basically all I have to do. How is homeschool with the brace? Homeschooling is great, like I said. Um, thankfully, I don't go to public school just for this reason, but um, homeschooling is definitely great for it because I can just do school in my brace and that's counting hours in for my brace. And I just sit there and do my school and just not even think about it, so it's pretty good. Okay, last one. Is it painful? And if it is, how often does it hurt? So I'm asking if this is for the brace or scoliosis. I will just cover both because that's what I'm here for. Um, no, my scoliosis, I can't really say it's painful, but if you do something like abnormally strange with your body, like bending it the weirdest direction, um, I'm sure that would be painful, but like I personally don't do that stuff. I used to when I was a gymnast, but not anymore. Okay, and my brace, I can't really say it's painful. Um, some some ways you move, it does like pluck at you a little and it's like ugh. But like, you know, if, if you wore a back brace, you would know. But it's not like just painful the way you wear it. No, I can't say. If it's really tight, sometimes it's 
a little hard to breathe, but you know, you gotta just do it. Just do it, yeah. Um, that's how you see results, guys. You gotta commit and you gotta be committed, guys, so. Okay, so that is all for you guys' questions. Thank you all so much for um, sending all of them in and asking me. I'm so happy I had to answer every single one of them. And hopefully you guys learned something from this video and hopefully you found some encouragement to to your back brace. I also wanna let you guys know that you are not alone in this journey. Like I know going into um, scoliosis, for those of you who may be, I know it feels like you are the only one. I just wanted you guys to know that I'm here and I can give you as much advice as I possibly can if you ask me. Don't hesitate guys, I am here. Message me on any social media, um, but yeah. But, but guys, I want you to know also if you're starting, just keep faith in God and just keep trusting that he will lead you and that just have faith that you can get through it and that you will get through it because when you have faith, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel and don't worry about it. Just keep pushing for every day at a time, guys. I know that like when you look in the big scheme of things, you're like, that is gonna be forever. But here guys, I only have six months left and that is the best news I've ever heard, guys. So just keep pushing through, be committed. Commitment is what it takes and take it one day at a time. That's my advice for you guys. Um, hopefully I helped at least one of you guys. But yeah, these are all my questions for my scoliosis Q&A. guys that is it for this scoliosis slash back brace q a i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys also learned some advice to help you during your journey just through scoliosis and back bracing whatever you may be going through i really hope this helped you i just really had a great time um answering all your questions and filming this it was really good and also let me know if you have any more like scoliosis slash back brace related videos so let me know down below in the comment section because i really do love making these videos and if you have any ideas i will also love making them as well if you guys did enjoy this week's video be sure to give it a big thumbs up by clicking that like button so you know you guys enjoyed it anyway Anyways guys, whatever you may be going through, if it's scoliosis or just whatever, I want you to know you are strong, you are brave, you got this, and keep your faith in him and you will get through it. Be committed, you're dedicated, you're amazing, and you are going to get through this. You just gotta be strong, you gotta have that courage to just take a step of faith and just know that you're gonna see great things in the end because good things take time, guys. But I came into this back brace journey not knowing anything. I didn't know what I was getting into. And here I am just like stronger than ever and just braver and just like this journey has taught me so much as a person. And I feel like you can do the same for you if you really wanna believe it. So don't be afraid, just know if it's the right thing you need to do, just go for it. And um, be committed, guys. Commitment is one of the biggest things. Like you can easily not wear your brace for a day, but like, you know what good's that gonna do? None. You gotta put effort into it. You gotta show commitment and you gotta do it, guys. Anyways, guys, I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.